coming close. I'm back, so I'm making something because I just got home a little bit ago and I'm hungry and you're gonna let up. So, okay, I wanted to talk about this for a long, 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 long time. I'm Sarah Houston. How you doing, bitch? How you doing? Um. <clears throat> What up, X's and O's? K, subscribe, like, go watch all my other stories because y'all know it's filled with juice. Y'all know it's juice. Rock with me. You feel me? Rock with me. Join my little family. So, okay. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay, bitch. Like, I have no words for this boy, okay? Like, when I tell you. Okay. Let me let me stop and get to it because I'm so sh flabbergasted that like I have to tell this. Oh, let me make sure I'm right. I'm filming. So like okay, when I went when I was going to Central Tech, I started there. I went like at Central Tech. I started from grade nine, and then you know shit happens, and then like you you you're, you're being foolish, and you like go to different schools, your best friend, and like just you just you get into the life of smoking and skipping that stuff and like mm -hmm. but you complete it at you as long as you graduated okay okay so i had to graduate for my mom like i had to i was gonna do it for her so okay so i met um no i'm not gonna use her name okay so i met a girl and we'll call her yo honestly like my my speech is coming out so extra right now because the, like my movements and everything because when i tell you guys how this person not the girl i'm about to mention but the guy that is involved when i tell y'all how, how he came into my life two times and fucked it up like <sighs> lord you have explaining to do so okay look i met this girl I met this girl and we'll call her she was related to me we figured out that we had like you know so going through the like blood to the bloodline and like we were related so um i'll call her body because her body was fucking sick like her shape was sick bottle to the 10th degree okay so she was like, oh, I'm Scotia, blah, 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 this and that. And I'm like, oh, my daddy's Scotia, like, bitch, white, blah, 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 whatever the case. And then, like, we became hella close and, you know, like, it was all goody. Like, it was all goody. Like, I loved her off. Like, that was my girl. Like, we went to my family's house in the same area. And she was just like, oh, my God, this is my family, bitch. Like, really, though? And I was like, dead. Like, you're my bitch okay guys like take it in the connect right the connection so my boobs itchy whatever so oh my god guys i still haven't pierced my nipple yet even though i wanted to because it's healed now but i'm following my gut and i'm being smart and i'm just waiting it out i know that i'm gonna pierce it the left one when it's right because I just want to make sure that the skin is fully healed like that shit got ripped right out like so i'm making sure that my skin is just nice and intact and it's like much better like it's perfect it looks the same as it was i'm just you know being cautious but anywho where'd that come from so oh yeah because i was itching anyways so this girl is my family and a friend whatever the case so then we um we i th okay how did that okay <laughs> how did that person come into the picture i think it was it her crush or something 
Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So if I'm telling this correct, guys, because I'm getting confused with this part and the other part of the other whole lie. We tell y'all here. So basically, I believe. Okay, if I'm remembering correctly, for this first girl, um, my the one who's my family and a friend, we're close. He basically came into the picture and she was like oh my god over him like you y'all know those ones where you're just like oh like you're you're sliding down a couch bitch like you're just putty you're like you're a your water going down a slide like you just have no words but to melt in front of this person that's how she was for this boy right okay so he okay basically it's her birthday okay it's her birthday and she's obsessed with him and everything and he's just her chocolate daddy from heaven period that's all she saw that's the only like she was about him about him and so he it's her birthday he comes over oh my god y'all i need to find a bomb ass concealer because y'all see my daddy gave me and all my sisters like these dark spots and like i need to find a better concealer so like okay he he came over it was her birthday shit in my wait would it be done right now no i can give you a bit more so basically he came over for her but y'all listen to this shit he came over for her birthday right and we, me her and him were chilling and then i was just chilling in the wait was i chilling in? i forget was she on one of my other sides and he was sitting on the other side I forget but yo all I remember is all three of us were sitting on a bed right we were just chilling and like she was all happy it was her birthday when she was all gushy and whatnot and I was just sitting there chilling and shit like I'm here with my girl and okay her friends there like whatever like I don't know I'm just yo whatever and it was so it was so chill because like when we were laying there at night time just me and her um her guardian or whoever she was with just like, let us you know talk up a little bit it was so chill and whatever and we were like singing like idiots like just being stupid because you know you're young and so like high and whatever the case good times so basically we were sitting on the bed and she wasn't looking for a second and i just yo from i from i felt like this dude was trouble from the beginning from the first like from the first encounter like i just i was just like mm. like bitch mm. like Mm, something may right so okay so we're sitting on the bed and she's not looking for a second and you all like I'm, this man is too much like one so she, he he does this and she's like what was that like like what did like who's making noise like who did that like and she just flipped I don't know what she thought was going on she flipped she stormed out of the room and she went upstairs to sit with her sister so i was just like oh hell no i'm like yo you see what you did like you're so fucking irritating you're so annoying like why the fuck are you doing it on this girl's birthday like are you fucking dumb like and you're gonna make her think something of me when it's all you because you're a fool i don't even know why the fuck you're here in the first place like i was so cheesed i was just like why are you trying to ruin this girl's birthday like i thought you were about her she's definitely about you so like, why are you coming and playing with the girl yeah, I should just peel my lashes off. That's what I feel like doing. I want to peel this wig off too. Yeah, listen, I just come from work. Wait. Anywho, so, so um, yeah, she went upstairs with sister. So I went after her, whatever the case, and I was just like, "Yo, are you okay? Like, it's your birthday. Like, yo, talk to me. Yo, hold on. I'll be Hi, back." Guys, so I'm back. Um, so I went upstairs and I was just like, "Yo, um." Why the fuck would you think I'm making a noise at him? Whatever the case, like, this is ridiculous. Like, I'm here for you, I'm here for your birthday, and my family, like, who the fuck is he? Like, he's clearly, like, um, a player and a hypnotizer. Like, look at you. Like, you don't see nothing but his face. Like, your eye, like, your eyes are glossed over. Like, she, like, yo, this girl is obsessed, okay? When we all go through, like, being obsessed over somebody, like, or just being someone, like, damn, fine that you don't see anything else. Like, whatever the case. But, like, so she was set she was dead set on it though she was mad and whatever the case so she was just like you know what no like like i don't want to talk to you go you can go or whatever and i was kind of like i can go like oh shit bitch like for real it's like that 
like that like okay so I was like that hurts yo like that hurts so I got my shit I packed up and I was like I didn't even know that area so I had to just like go outside on a cold ass Sunday and just like find my way and it was really weird and I hate being stranded like that and but whatever the case like she was so mad from this idiot making a fucking noise next to her and like I didn't do anything y'all take it in I did not do anything so that was that and um that broke a wedge in between us for a long time wherever the case no <clears throat> oh so yeah where that was um the girl we called body and the guy is let's say i don't know if i gave him a name in the first part but like let's call him hypnotizing chocolate okay so no, y'all, I met my best friend in Central Tech, okay? And, um, Verna, I love you so much wherever you are. I love you so much. Hortensa, Maggie, all y'all, I love you. So, Nilda. So, like, me and my best friend <laughs> went to, like, high school to high school with each other and, like, we just stuck by each other. Like, that was my bitch when I tell y'all. That was my girl, like, for years, years. She was from Albania, and she was so cute. She had the cutest little shape, and, like, you know, they were very, like, up. Oh, that Like, they, like, had expensive-ass bags, and, like, she was, like, like, yo, when I tell you the mom's, like, bathroom full of perfume, and, like, they were just so cute and, like, bubbly, yeah, but the, the mom did I don't even know what it was. Like, the mom didn't, the mom, like, black men. But she wasn't like, I don't know, it just seemed like the mom wasn't used to me or whatever the case. Like, she kept me in, like, Berna would still bring me around, but, like, the mom would be a little standoffish. But then at the same time, she would be so nice sometimes. And I know she loved me. I don't know what it was that she would think. Maybe, I don't know. <clears throat> but I'll make a video separate on my best friend because that's a whole different story I want that I can, like, say more about. Well, what I've been through with the family and how I miss them and how like they up and disappeared really randomly like it's crazy and how they had a story on the Google but then it disappeared and now I'm like so anyways so basically me and my best friend went to high school and whatever and we just stuck with each other and did with like whatever and we were trying to like make it through life together y'all know what I mean like we were like two butt cheeks who, who took a bath together and read magazines that close so um one day we go to this High school that has a lot of um, black people right and in Toronto and like yo I'm sorry y'all like and it, okay whatever like I didn't cream my boobs today like whatever so so um oh so one day my best friend my best bitch my fucking bitch Morana comes to me and says Oh my god i met this guy and he's so cute and whatever the case and like she was gone obsessed like like in a trance in a trance when i tell you guys a fucking trance so i'm like oh god who is this she's like oh my god his eyes he has dog puppy doe eyes and he, his skin is so chocolatey whatever the case and blah blah, blah. and i was just like who the fuck is this girl talking about and she's like and his smile and i was just like oh god like why do i have a why is it why is my gut turning right now? And my gut was just like, Sarah, bitch, like, something's about to get fucked up, bitch. Like, get ready for the roller coaster. And I was just like, oh my god, like, what the fuck? So, tell me how one day she's like, oh my god, okay, come on, I want you to meet him. He's outside. So I'm like, okay. So we walk outside. <sighs> tell me why. It was, um,. Tell me why it was, oh, what did I call him in the first story? Tell me why it was um, the brown chocolate. Let's just call him brown chocolate. Hypnotized chocolate. Tell me why it was hypnotizing chocolate. The one who just fucked up that other friendship. Now this is my best friend and you just appear and she swooned over you too. Like where the fuck did you come from? I was tripping balls. I was like, I know she did not just come to me and tell me that she is falling for hypnotizing chocolate who just ruined my other friendship because she was hypnotized over this chocolate like and i did nothing wrong like i was so cheesed okay so basically um 
I was like, I tried to warn her. I tried to warn my best friend and I said he's gonna fuck us up. He's gonna put a wedge between us. He already did this with me and one of my family slash really close friends. Like, don't do it. Don't talk to him. Like, please don't talk to him. I was like, I don't know where the fuck he came from. I don't know why this is happening to me again, but don't talk to him. She was like, oh my God. Um, she's like, okay, like, I'll try not, whatever, blah, 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 whatever. She's like, but he's so cute and I really like him and he's really nice and all the bullshit. The whole nine. And I was like, no, please. She was like, okay. So throughout the week, <clears throat> I go to her house, let's say on a Wednesday, Thursday. And she's like, acting front, like quiet, but girly and giddy and hiding her neck. So, <laughs> this is some funny best friend shit, y'all. You need to like picture this. So I'm walking to her house and I'm like, <clears throat> um, Anna Bear. I called her Anna Bear. I'm like, Anna Bear, Brenna, I'm not gonna say her last name. Anna Bear, let me see your neck. She's like, huh? I'm like, let me see your neck. She's like, mm. I'm like, let me see your neck, bitch. I see, I look. I pull whatever she had and it was big dark hickeys. I was like, who gave that to you? <laughs> Wanna tell me something? Like, I thought it was the little neighbor down the hall that she didn't care for, but it wanted her. I was like, oh, is it your neighbor? Hmm? Homeboy down the line? Hmm? I'm like, who gave you that? She's like, oh my God, okay, Dave did it. <sighs> It's all good, whatever. So she was like hypnotizing chocolate, did it, and blah blah blah. And I caved and blah, I couldn't help it, and blah blah blah. And he's so fine and he's so sexy and chocolatey, and blah blah blah, whatever the case. And I was like, he's gonna drive a wedge between us, and we're gonna fight. Watch. She's like, no, trust me, please, blah blah blah. Just look, give him a try. He's not like that anymore, whatever the case. He doesn't want to do anything to hurt our friendship. But I said, okay, bitch, watch. So. <clears throat> So basically, um, one day we went to the McDonald's around the corner from my best friend's house, and which was in Parkville. And um, like, we were sitting there, and all of a sudden, I feel a kick under the table, guys. I feel a kick under the motherfucking table. So I look and I see his leg, and I'm like, oh hell no. He did not just touch my body with his motherfucking body after ruining another one of my motherfucking friendships. Like, or yeah, other friendship. Y'all get it, whatever. I was like, okay, so I pulled my friend aside and I was like, yo, I can't do this right now. I'm like, yo, homeboy's kicking me under the motherfucking table and you're not gonna see it, but then you're gonna think something's happening because my face is weird and I don't have time for this. For him to take another one away from me. I'm like, this bitch is too, like, with his game, like, what the fuck is happening? Like, how is he popping up again? Like, why another one of my friends? Why my best friend? And she was just like, oh my god, no, like, you're tripping, blah, blah, blah. And then it started, it started a wedge between us. We just, we stopped speaking, kind of, whatever the case and <sighs> That was the motherfucking story of the motherfucker smooth cat who came and fucking disrupted two of my friendships, like, how, how, my boy? How? Anyway, I'm gonna go eat. I hope you guys had a good day. I hope you're having a good night. Am I? Um, I love you, Destiny. I love you, Mom. And mm, I don't know. I miss a good arm grip around my waist, you feel me? Like, anywho, night